This little lure right here might just be the best lure for ultralight fishing. This lure is called a curly tail grub, a super simple but very effective lure that works for just about any species of fish. And today, we're going to take it fishing to see what we can catch with it and how it performs in the water. Alrighty guys, so here is the spot that we are going to be fishing at today. We have a really nice looking river. I know that there are a lot of different species of fish that live in here. And as far as my setup goes, I'll be using my ultralight combo with four pound line on it. And for the lure, I've got that little curly tail grub, but we'll talk a little more about that later. All right, so this looks like a really good spot to fish at. I'm super excited to see what we can catch. Here we go. First cast of the day. How I'm going to fish this little bait right here is I'm just going to cast it out there like that. I'm going to let it sink all the way down there. And I'm kind of just going to slowly retrieve it off the bottom. Oh, there we go. That's a fish. Oh my gosh, that's a big one. Whoa, what is this? That is a monster right there. Oh, it's a smallmouth. It's a big smallmouth. No way. That's my personal best smallmouth 100%. Oh my gosh. That is a monster right there. That is 100% my personal best. Oh, we got to get this guy in. Smallmouth fights so hard crazy this guy's pulling drag and everything I've only got four pound lines so I gotta be careful with them and we got him no way look at that wow take a look at that you guys that is by far my personal best smallmouth such a pretty fish right there put up a crazy fight too wow that is awesome on that little curly tail grub too Let's get him right back in the water. Wow, look at that. Great way to start the day. Beautiful smallmouth bass. And there he goes. That was awesome. Well, that was crazy, you guys. That was by far the biggest smallmouth that I have ever caught. Let's get it right back down there and see what else we can catch now. There we go, there's a fish. There's another one right there. Oh my gosh, no way, it's another smallmouth. Wow, that's crazy. It's a bit smaller than the last one, but still a pretty decent one right there. These guys are so fun to catch. They fight like crazy. And got them, wow, look at that. Really pretty fish right there. A bit smaller than the last one, but still such a fun fish to catch. Let's get them right back in the water now. That's awesome. So far we've been fishing for about 15 minutes and we've already caught two pretty decent sized smallmouth and both of those fish came off of the curly tail grub too. Let's see what else we can catch. Alrighty, so after I caught that last smallmouth, I was not able to have any more luck at this spot. So let's move a bit further down the river to see what else we can find. There we go, that's a fish. What do we got here? What is this? It's fish number three of the day. Ooh, got a river chub. Look at that, we got a little river chub right there. Take a look at that. Check that out right there. That is fish number three of the day. A really cool looking river chub. Got him on that little curly tail grub. Such a cool looking fish right there. Fish number three of the day and species number two, river chub. See ya, bud. There we go, that's a fish. Oh, what do we got here? It's a new species. Oh, it's a rock bass. Yes, we got a rock bass. It's a big one too. And we got him. Wow, look at the size of that rock bass. Check that out right there. Really cool looking rock bass right there. Love the colors on these fish. Another one on the curly tail grub. That is awesome. Look at that nice little rock bass right there. And he's back. There we go, that's a fish. There's another one right there. It's 
a little guy. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's a green sunfish. Yet yeah, another species for the day. Check that out right there. That is yet another species on the curly tail grub. A really cool looking green sunfish. Let's get him right back in the water. That's awesome. Nice little green sunfish right there. And there he goes. There we go. And another fish. Every single cast we are catching fish. This is awesome. What do we got here? Oh, it's another river chub. Look at that. Another little river chub right there. I love catching these guys. They're so fun. Feisty little guy right there. Awesome. Really cool looking fish right there. Another river chub. And he's back. All right, so what I'm doing to catch these fish so far is I'm just casting my little curly tail grub right beside the drop off and I'm just letting the current take it down and as it goes down, usually the fish picks it up. Oh, there we go. That's a fish. Whoa, what do we got here? I just dropped it in between some rocks right below me, and this little guy picked it up. Ooh, it's a green sunfish. A really cool looking one, too. Wow, take a look at that really pretty looking green sunfish right there. He came out from under one of the rocks and took my little curly tail grub. That is so cool. Awesome looking fish right there. See you, bud. There we go, that's a fish. What do we got here? Looks like we got another rock bass, cool. Awesome little rock bass right there. Love catching these little guys. Ton of fun, especially on ultralight tackle. Look at that, another little fish right there. And he's back. Yep, there we go, that's a fish. Finally got another one right there. I think we got a rock bass on here. Yeah, a little rock bass right there. Oh, and there he goes. Yep, there we go. There's another fish right there. We got another rock bass. Look at that. This river is full of these little rock bass. Ton of fun to catch. Love the colors on them, too. Look at that little guy. Awesome. See you, bud. Alrighty, so now that we've fished with this lure right here for a while now and caught a bunch of fish on it, let's talk a little bit about it. Alright, so this lure right here is called a curly tail grub, a super versatile lure. You can fish it in just about any conditions in any body of water. I've actually even fished these in salt water and it worked pretty good. You can also rig these lures and fish them in a bunch of different ways, but my favorite way is just to put it on a jig head just like this and slowly drag it along the bottom. Well anyways, that just about wraps up today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. I don't know that I had a ton of fun bringing this little curly tail grub out here to this river and catching a bunch of fish, including my new personal best smallmouth. So I will see you all in the next video.